the guys over my channel, Bob here, and we're back in EverQuest on P99. And I've just started recording now because I was just I was just coming up towards the North Karana Bridge, and the sun's coming up there, and that's a lovely uh, lovely view. Um, I know that people talk about you know visuals, and nowadays we're all sort of obsessed with tessellation and you know polygon counts and texture resolution that kind of thing. But EverQuest does does throw up some lovely scenes sometimes and that's a, that's a nice one. I've got a misty sort of look at the over the bridge there. Early morning mist, sun coming up, wizard spires. That's uh yeah that's uh that's awesome. Look at that. Cool. Anyway we're back in EverQuest as you can see. This travelling bit I won't focus too much on. But the internet, my internet's been down. As if you if you if you if you follow my Facebook page, you'll know the internet's been down. Pain in the arse. You can, it's one of those things where you kind of think to yourself, well, you know, I'm not I'm not that obsessed. I, I can generally I'm fine. You know, I read a lot of books. Uh, kind of consider myself a bit of a bit of a cinephile. Um, I graphic novels, um, but sort of nature as well. I'm, I'm big on nature and the outdoors, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, it's uh, normally I can occupy myself um, fairly well, but being um, being offline for two weeks, uh, I did find it quite quite tricky. I don't know why. Uh, not as bad as my son, you know, he was climbing up the walls, and even my wife really I only uses it for a bit of work and a bit of Candy Crush. You know, she was quite frustrated as well. But normally I'm okay. But you know, two weeks of out, it was uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty uh, pretty tough. I would say. I think probably, I don't think I would have minded if Velius wasn't coming out. I think that was the, the key thing. Um, I've kind of been looking forward to it for so long. Um, and yeah, and, and not being available for the for the release would have, would have been, yeah, it would have been a bit annoying, I think. So I'm glad it's back up and running. I'm just heading to Port. That's kind of, I'm, I'm 34. I'm just heading to Port. That's where I've been for the last few levels. Working out okay. It's quiet. I did, I did do a bit of a duo yesterday. Uh, but generally it's quiet, so I've just been pulling some singles to the the safe room really uh, at the beginning, and I'll uh, I'll show you that when I get there, assuming that it's not already uh, full of people. Generally it's not, but yeah, internet's back up and running, up to full speed. Rebellious next week. I'm kind of ready. I think I said 34 a couple of weeks ago, didn't I? That was my goal, and I think I would have liked to have. Uh, I, I kind of probably could have got a bit higher really if it hadn't been for the internet, but. I think 34 is probably a good level for, um, I've been looking at some of the zones uh, to start off in and um, I'm probably going to head to a dungeon first off maybe and I've, I've, someone told me that Crystal Caverns is really good for 34. Uh, so that's good, that's great, you know I'm going to head there straight away and see what we can uh, see what we can do. I'm hoping to do, do more grouping and stuff because um, I think I'll be able to now, you know my health is, um, health is generally better still, still getting better. <laughs> Um, I've had a few bad days recently, but I think we've, we've got a bug going around the house, so that obviously always makes things difficult. But yeah, just sitting here talking to you is uh, is a bit easier uh, than it normally has been. So so yeah, I'm I'm kind of trying to do some grouping. <laughs> I think that's poor just coming up. Well, I, I need to med up, so I'll med up and get myself inside and see what's going on. Uh, yeah, and then I'll, I'll come back and chat some more. Hello guys, welcome back. So I made it into port. Um, I'm in the sa little safe room. I probably should get my pet out, but you kind of don't need it around here really. I've, I've been, you know, kind of tanking the mobs now for a couple of levels and yeah, pretty, I say, say pretty easy. I mean, you know, if you're around, again around my, around my level, uh, this is a nice spot to come. It's nice and quiet. You very rarely get, get people in here. I think someone was in here power leveling earlier on. There's a high level guy with a lower level guild sort of, uh, yeah, guildy, but that's pretty much it really you don't you don't get too much else it's it's uh, it's really nice nice xp bonus uh, these guys drop the scrolls as well uh, for the for the turning quest I've, I've done that a few times um, i normally wait till i get four and then sort of basically head off uh, and do some yeah <laughs> do some turning in and it helps i mean even at sort of level 33 i got what did i get for four scrolls um not a couple of bubbles i think that's probably overstating it about a bubble and a half maybe at, at 33 so it's definitely worth it you know it's as you know um experience all gets quite well it all, it all comes very slowly the higher up you get so yeah 
it's uh, definitely definitely worth doing. Let's see the backside down. Uh, and yeah, and this is this is a pretty easy camp. This room's safe. You do get a wanderer that comes just around the corner there, but as long as you're not standing right in the doorway, um, yeah, it's fine, no problems. So, uh, so Velius, then what what's what's happening? What are you, what are you guys doing? You know, I mean, I guess you're all kind of different different levels. I mean, I've been trying to plot out some stuff to do, but I'm more of an explorer. Uh, I did say in the, the first part that I'd be going to um, Crystal Cavern, which I will be. That's my that's my, kind of my first aim, if you like. But, but yeah, but I, I'm more of a uh, more of an explorer. I like to look around and to discover things. And as I said, Velius is very new to me, so so it's all going to be yeah, it's all going to be pretty new. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm still undecided as, as to what to do. But my, my first goal is definitely going to be to head to. Um, Crystal Caverns and have a look in there because I've heard it's a, it's a nice looking zone and uh, yeah I'm I'm keen keen to get in there <laughs> it's going to be uh, going to be good fun um, I don't know what's going on from a game point of view I haven't as I said I haven't been in for a couple of weeks um, but I do want to say like thanks for all the, the comments I just every time I log in I get loads of comments from people um, mostly asking for new videos and I wish I could do you know if, if I was able I'd do a video a day if I could but it's just not at the moment it's just not viable but we've certainly with Velius coming up starting from next week I'm going to be doing at least a video a week um, and if I'm up to it you know more than that so yeah going to be going to be a lot of fun I'm, th I'm thinking I'm um, hoping to group hoping to group with some of you guys I mean as I said before at the moment I am kind of um, uh, I am playing you know off peak uh, mostly and I know for, for I know like you guys are probably on when I mean there's about 400 and something people on at the moment, so that's very off peak. Yeah, but but I'm I'm hoping to sort of start playing a bit like a bit more into the the uh, you know the busier hours, so I can chat with some guys. That I don't chat with some of you guys. That I don't get a chance to chat to because of uh, you know because of, of when I'm on. But it could be an advantage of Velis because I imagine Velis is going to be very busy. Uh, but it could be an advantage for me being on it and like for the channel as well being on it off time so it means that I can go and do things that would, would maybe not be viable um, sort of uh, yeah from, from on, on, on sort of peak times um, and I'm kind of I'm wondering wondering what it's going to be like um, I, I think Velis is going to be hit hard you know when it when it first comes out hopefully there aren't too many problems you know you kind of hope that everyone's adult about things, and you know, not too many, uh, not too many fights and, and and arguments. But I think there's going to be there's certain camps from what I've read on the internet that are going to be kind of poop socked. Um, there's, there's the phrase that's the phrase, isn't it? I think yeah, poop socked um, from from the get go, pretty much. I think there's a couple of things um, that um, that change and become less good. A couple of items that become less good. A little way into Velia, so people are going to want to get their going to, going to want to get their sort of unnerfed versions of those before before it's nerfed. And yeah, um, that's the game really. I think that um, I think that, that, that that's it. That that's EverQuest in a nutshell. That that kind of thing. You know, it's a it's a big uh, a big race to to get the stuff <laughs> first. You know, um, and but I'm hoping it I'm hoping it's civilized at least. You know, like, I, it's probably not going to be, but we can only hope, um, but I guess also what it, what it might mean is that so I, was, I was talking to someone in I was talking to someone in game uh, a couple of days ago, and they said that um, they've been finding it quite difficult to uh, so some of the certainly on, on prime time. You know, they've been finding it quite difficult to um, uh, find camps. Like, you know, some of the camps in the old world and in Cunark. You know, a lot of the camps are just full at the moment. I don't know if it's because. Well, I think there's I think there's a lot of people playing on the server. You know, that that's one of the things. Um, but also, I think there's a lot of people have come back. They're waiting for Velius, and they're getting ready for Velius. So maybe they're camping stuff that they weren't before. Yeah, but he said that um, a lot of a lot of camps are, 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 are solid, and it's difficult to 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 get anywhere depending on what level you are. So Velius will will kind of open up some old world stuff as well. So you know, if you're looking for a quiet quiet spot. Uh, some quiet ever questing, then yeah, I mean, the old world might be the place to be. But, but I'm, I mean, my plans are to, are to be there. You know, I, I can't. Sh I'm, I, I'm not going to be first to broadcast um, Velius content. I'm sure people will be twitching it uh, as soon as it goes live. 
Um, I'm not sure what it means to me time-wise. Um, I'm not sure what time of day for me it will be coming up. I'm assuming it's going to be a time suit that suits the, the US side of things, which is fair enough. Um, so I'm not sure when I'll be um, yeah when I'll be able to to get stuff going. But but my my plan is to is to catch the boat, record all that, you know, get get it all get it all on. <laughs> no mucking about. We're going to get the boat ride and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and as I said, I'm hoping to do quite a lot of videos and I'm hoping to do some streaming as well. You know, um, I imagine the streaming side of things would be quite competitive. Uh, early on, you'll get people, people who have come back to the game. Um, it's, it's, it's weird like, with um, YouTube and streaming. You know, it's. Um, I think people take it up. I'm not sure what people expect when they start streaming or when they start doing videos. But what you do see is a lot of people do it for just a short period of time then give up. I'm not sure if they're expecting something from it financially or, or in game. You know, if there's an expectation that if they stream, uh, something's going to happen for them. I'm, I'm not sure, but but you do see people come and go quite a lot. And I'm, and I'm wondering if, if that's the if that's the case. I'm sure people take breaks from the game as well, you know, and um, and do other stuff, particularly in the summer. But yeah, it's a. Uh, I've noticed I've come back to kind of two weeks worth of. YouTube videos, and I think only I think the only EverQuest videos that I came across were um, a friend who I talked to in game. Um, his channel, I think it's Brandon Childers or Childers One Hundred. Um, he's got some videos going. He's just kind of started, so you know, um, go over to his channel and have a look. But he's the only one who seems to be doing videos. So I don't know if it's just that time of the year where people are not doing stuff. I mean, obviously, Level One's not doing it. I think Dalian is kind of focusing on on different things. Um, so yeah, so there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of people out there doing uh, doing EverQuest stuff. Um, even Twitch, I've noticed Twitch has been pretty quiet. Maybe people are all getting ready for <laughs> for Velius. I'm not sure. Um, I'm I'm kind of like from my, my Velius sort of thing. I'm I'm really not sure what what to expect. You know, I when you read on the forums, you kind of People seem to a lot of people seem to, to seem to be saying that um, you know all of, nearly all of your equipment is going to become redundant because it's really easy to get you know better stuff um, in Velius, but I'm sure that's not the case. I think when people on the forums talk about the game and equipment they can you can get, you know, I think that they're probably talking about it from a point of view of someone who's going to play a lot and is in a guild raiding, you know. Whereas if you're not, then you oh here we go. Yeah, if you're not, then your your chances of getting better stuff than you've already got are, are you know um, well a lot smaller obviously. Uh, but also I think that your you know I've um, the value stuff is probably going to be quite expensive to buy early on. So yeah, even kind of buying stuff for gold. You know, it's going to be pretty expensive as well. So yes, yeah, so I'm I'm not sure what to expect from an equipment point of view. Um, I have um, I've kind of I've kind of looked at like Crystal Caverns for example. I've kind of looked at some of the equipment that's dropped in there. Um, and although it's a kind of a lower level dungeon, it's not you know there's nothing there immediately. It's going to it's going to replace stuff I've got. So yeah, interesting. Um, I think I'm mainly going to be using it for leveling up. I think probably. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not even sure if it's not if it's not particularly um, what would you say? What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not bothered if, 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 if it's not particularly viable. You know, if, it, if it's not, um, I can't remember the, I'm, I'm looking for I'm looking for a word and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> efficient, even if it's not particularly efficient from a leveling point of view. I'm not particularly bothered. You know, because as I said I'm more of an explorer and I'm looking forward to seeing different things and I'm looking forward to putting different stuff up on the channel you know that, that's quite a key thing for me um, yeah but we'll see how it goes but as you can see I'm in poor we're doing we're doing the rounds um, I'm just kind of pulling these these ones by the door mostly I think once you get around to the door here they get the mobs get a bit higher uh, you've got the males are a bit higher than the masses um, but also it just, it just becomes tougher you start getting casters and stuff so yeah but I need to rest a bit. Um, but anyway, guys, I'll stop this here. This might be the end of the video. I don't know. I'll see what happens. <clears throat> if anything interesting happens or I've got anything else to say, 
I'll come back. But if not, it's the end. <laughs> Thanks for watching.